Two stars are going to collide that will result in a massive supernova. The coolest thing about this supernova is it will be visible right here on Earth. We are going to tell you everything you need to know about it right now on IO. Yo, I'm Charlotte. I'm Jared, and this story kind of reminds me of us. What? We are two celestial bodies whose orbits are about to cross, resulting in a massive explosion of matter? Yep. Yeah, I guess so. I ship it. I ship this supernova. Share it or jarl it. <laughs> Alright, here's the lowdown. A new star is about to be born, and I'm not talking about me or Char or Sherrod or our children. <laughs> and when I say about, I mean in like five years. In the year 2022, two stars that share the name KIC 9832227 are going to crash together to create what's called a boom star. When this collision happens, it will be 10,000 times brighter after they smash into each other. It will create one of the brightest lights in the night sky. This type of event is especially exciting because. Well, they're so rare and really hard to predict. But for the first time in history, Professor Molnar has predicted a collision in advance. He's been studying these stars since 2013. So how did he manage to predict this would happen? Astronomers used the Calvin Observatory and Kinemuki's Kepler satellite data to track the orbit of the two stars. It became apparent that based on the timing that the orbits would cross, it would result in a crash. So if you remember to check in 2022, here's how you'll be able to witness this event. It's going to be visible as a part of the constellation Cygnus which is around 1800 light years away. The constellation Cygnus is really recognizable. It sort of looks like a cross. And this collision will actually add a star to the constellation. So dope, right? Maybe in five years we can collide and get some champagne and watch the supernova together. Mm, I don't know. Someday you will find me caught beneath the landslide in a champagne supernova in the sky. Everybody Someday you will find me caught beneath the landslide. Cringing so hard right now. Okay, it's coming time. That was cute though. Majestic Potato said, Charlotte is so tall. Maybe you're just short. Yeah, no, well, no, you're tall. How does that feel? Feels all right, I guess. Chris Taka said, Don't you hate it when you wake up and a bird makes a nest on your foot? Damn woodpeckers. Yeah, I freaking hate it, man. Uh, I've never had that happen to me. Yeah, I Maybe just, one time. I, nope. got, I had some eggs there this morning, didn't know what to do about it. It's like, what do I do? There's an egg and I don't want to kill it, but I need to move my foot. The slow mo bro and more said, what is your favorite starter Pokemon? Mine's Charmeleon. Isn't Charmeleon a second? Charmeleon isn't a starter Pokemon, is it? It was Squirtle, Bulbasaur, and Charmander. Charmander. Charmander's yeah, my favorite. Charmeleon. Uh, mine, was, mine was always Squirtle. Really? Yeah. You kind of look like a Squirtle. You kind of look like a, a Charmander because your hair's red. Yes, I do. Okay, guys, that is all for now. Thanks for watching IO. I hope, hope you have that song stuck in your head. And we hope you enjoyed the video. As always, you got to drop us the comment down below. Yeah, share the video with a friend if you enjoyed it. And as always, we'll see you in another IO video.